guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome. Guys, this is an extremely important lesson and real case study of the Central Bank of Egypt's decision to float the currency. Now, we are share sharing this information so that you know what to expect or not expect should and when Iraq floats their currency. There is a major difference in Iraq and Egypt, and I will point this out as I go. What does floating a currency mean? Well, it means the government is no longer controlling the value of the Egyptian pound compared to other currencies. Now, for decades, the Egyptian currency was pegged to the U.S. dollar, meaning it could only go up or down based upon the fluctuation of the U.S. dollar. Now, that is a very safe way or has proven to be a safe way in the past. Then Egypt needed a loan from the IML, the International Monetary Fund, to be exact, in the amount of 12 billion U.S. dollars loan. The IMF, as one of the conditions, required Egypt to float their currency. Now, the Egyptian currency floats up and down on a daily basis. The IMF said that floating currency would make more foreign exchange available and improve Egypt's foreign currency reserves, which has been a continuing problem. Now, as you know, this would never be the case with Iraq because the foreign currency reserve is close to 100 billion U.S. dollars. So in the experience, training, and knowledge of the IMF, and world bankers. Floating the currency was the right thing to do. However, the immediate results were high prices. And wait for it, wait for it, a sudden widening of the exchange rate between the Egyptian currency on the black market and the central bank of Egypt's currency rate or the forex market currency rate. The value of the Egyptian pound dropped by nearly 50% on Thursday. However, in the long term, it is hoped that floating the currency will bring down inflation, which hit a seven-year high of 15.5% in August of 2022 and makes everyday goods more affordable. That's what they're hoping for. In other words, floating the currency will control inflation. Now, here is what you want to always, always remember in this real study case of floating the currency. Egypt has been running desperately short of foreign currency. Iraq does not, and I repeat, does not have this issue, concern, or problem. Iraq foreign currency reserve is now over 96 billion. <laughs>